Good morning, guys. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Me and my family are blessed. Praise God. Right now is 5.38 a.m. in the morning. And uh, I just want to talk to you guys about something that the principalities don't want me to discuss. I really thought in my heart that they will be content after they have decided to lock down the whole world. But they are far from satisfied. In fact, they have decided to voice their opinions against people like myself due to the fact that folks like myself have perspectives that are contrary to their propaganda machine. So that being said, in front of me on my iPhone, I have an article by BBC. And the name of this article is called Coronavirus Fake News is Spreading Fast. And it says here, as the coronavirus, or to be precise, COVID-19, spreads around the world, getting accurate information about the disease becomes ever more important. And in the social media age that puts a heavy responsibility on the likes of Facebook and YouTube, these are the platforms that billions now rely on for news and they are already providing fertile territory for those wanting to spread misinformation. That's the key word in this article, misinformation. On Facebook, it is in groups opposing vaccines and those campaigning against 5G mobile phone networks that scare stories appear most likely to take hold. I have scanned a number of the 5G groups and found plenty of comments suggesting there is a link between the virus and the new networks. The Stop 5G UK group has more than 27,000 members, one of whom has posted this, quote, I have heard it's not a serious virus. It's about as bad as the flu or cold. So really, this is a perfect plan to cover up the EMF slash 5G related illnesses, close quote. And uh, let me uh, scroll down a little bit. It says here, a YouTube video with the title Wuhan Coronavirus is a 5G smart street light test bed is also popular in this group and others. Other YouTube videos share complex conspiracy theories, including a suggestion that the Diamond Princess cruise ship whose passengers had to be quarantined was affected by the virus because it used 5G technology for its connectivity. Okay, I'm just going to read a few more paragraphs and then I'm going to provide my two cents and a big bag of chips. It says here in this paragraph, another popular theory is that the virus was engineered in a, la in a lab and deliberately released by, take your pick, the Chinese or the, or the American government. Over the Facebook 5G and over on the Facebook 5G and microwave radiation group, an article from Techno, techno, I can't pronounce that. Uh, from this group, claims it is because it is becoming pretty clear that the Hunan, Hunan, forgive me, I can't read this morning. Coronavirus is an engineered bio weapon that was either purposely or accidentally released. To be fair to Facebook, it appears to have upped its game when it comes to combating misinformation. Search for coronavirus on its platform and the top results will be reliable information from sites such as World Health Organization or WHO. If you have, I mean, if you find an anti-vaccination group you want to join, a pop-up message appears saying, learn why the World Health Organization recommends vaccinations to prevent diseases. YouTube, too, appears to be trying to calm fears with a WHO banner and appearing above any videos about the virus, which is true. 
because uh, my latest video about my doubts regarding the virus, there's this uh, message above, uh, right below my video that says if you want to find out uh, information about the coronavirus, uh, click on this, something like that. And uh, let me see, I'm trying to find my place here. It says here, at least one conspiracy video uh, one conspiracy theory video adverts are still appearing, meaning that the site's owner, Google, is still pro pro profiting from misinformation. Of course, these videos, like mine, I mean, I'm a small fish in YouTube, but there are many popular YouTubers who are receiving a lot of likes. A lot of people are tuning in to their channel. And Google is not stupid, you know, they're in it for the money. So that's why they will allow conspiracy theorists to come out with their videos so that they can make money, you know, during this situation. And it says here, Facebook says that as well as promoting accurate information, it has taken steps to combat the spread of misinformation about the virus. It's third-party fact-checkers investigate dubious claims, and when they rate information as false, the company limits its spread across Facebook and Instagram. I don't think I need to uh, go on and on and on, but I hope that you get the message. <laughs> the principalities have spoken. They want to silence people like myself. They don't want to, you know, like I said, uh, groups like Google, they don't want to just tear down these videos because they want to make money. But at the same time, they are going to uh, increase the, you know, the speed within the propaganda machine, you know, the gears that are moving, you know, the moving parts of the propaganda machine, they just cranking it up so that their message will overshadow messages that are similar to mine. So that being said, guys, in closing, I just want to leave you with this. When you hear any powerful group of people that come out and speak out against the little people, that is when you really need to take that into serious consideration. Why me? Why folks like myself? Why is it that they are paying attention to opinions like mine? I like you know, like I said, I came out recently uh, claiming that I believe that this virus is a hoax. I believe that it's out there, but they are making it bigger than what it is, and they are using that with the intent to pave the way for the Antichrist. I truly believe that. And uh, they don't want that type of talk to be presented. And also with this 5G thing, you know, with this new technology, uh, according to a video that I saw, it's causing health issues. And, you know, when the principalities have something in mind, and they want that, you know, what what I'm saying is, is that whatever it is that they have in mind, they're going to make sure that that comes to pass. And they'll do whatever it takes to make sure that their, that their plans will succeed. And they will step on the little people just so that their message will be heard. And when, whenever that happens, you really need, you, you really need to take heed to that. That's all I'm saying. Just be mindful, be watchful, and uh, be nosy. This is the Preacher Man signing out. May the Lord Yeshua, Mashiach, bless you all and your loved ones. And in Yeshua's holy name, I say, Amen. Peace.